All right, let's keep going with this solving for x. We're going to add another part in here. Um, so let's just jump in here. Now, this should be a review. There's this thing in math called distributive property. Remember in order of operations, we have to start by solving what is inside of our parentheses. Now, here's the thing. X and 3, I cannot add. If I have an X and a 3, I can't combine those two. They're not what's called like terms. So what I'm going to always say is start by inside of your parentheses. If you can't do anything inside of your parentheses, you have to look outside. And remember from pre-algebra, you can only add things if they're like terms, if they have the same letters. X and 3 are not the same. They're not like terms, so we can't add them. So we have to look outside. And a 2 is what's outside. So what we're going to do between these two things is multiplication. This problem is saying 2 times x plus 3. Since we can't solve inside of our parentheses, we're going to look outside of that parenthesis, and whatever is outside, we're going to distribute in. And that means we're going to multiply it to everything inside. So 2 times x plus 2 times 3. 2 times x is just 2x plus, if this was a minus, we would subtract 2 times 3, which is 6. And these are not like terms. They don't have the same letter. So that's where I have to stop for this. Now, hopefully that is a review. Hopefully you've done distributed property before in pre-algebra. Let's take that concept into solving for x. All right, guys, so we're going to take what we just talked about, and we're going to apply it to solving for x. We have to look inside of our parentheses because order of operations says we start inside first. We cannot combine x plus 2. They're not like terms. So I have to look outside, and I'm going to distribute. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 2 is 6. And then rewrite the rest of that problem so I have it. Now I am back to where I was last lesson. I'm going to start by simplifying this. 6 minus 7 is negative 1. Okay. Now I need to get all of my x's together. And my whole numbers, or not my whole numbers, my non-variable non terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this a little bit backwards because I'm going to move this over here with the x that's already there. Otherwise, I have to move two things. When I move this. Remember, if there's no sign, it's understood to be plus. It becomes a minus. It doesn't matter which side I move my x's to as long as they're together. I can move them to the left. I can move them to the right. We typically are more comfortable with the x on the left side, but it doesn't have to be there. So now, oops, I forgot to carry my negative down. Whoops. Negative 3x minus 3x is negative 6x. And even though this is backwards, I still am going to follow the same steps. My goal is still to get x by itself, which means I still need to move this from here to here. I'm still multiplying between the two because two things side by side with no sign is multiply. So I'm still going to move my negative 6 over. And remember, oops, remember the operation changes from multiplication to division the sign doesn't change. So negative 1 divided by negative 6. Remember, we're not actually going to divide them. We're going to use our fraction key. Now, if I type in two negatives as a fraction, it's going to say error. Here's what I know. Negative divided by negative is a positive. 1 over 6 is going to be my answer. Okay. A little bit of a longer one. Start inside your parentheses. I can't do anything here. I can't do anything here. So I'm going to distribute this. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times x, or plus. 4 times x is 4x. I'm not touching that minus 12 or the equal sign. Now I'm going to do the same thing. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 6 is minus 12. So the first step is to distribute. If you can distribute, you need to distribute, okay? A lot of times people make a mistake. Listen, this 4 stops being distributed at the end of that parenthesis. After that parenthesis, we have a totally different 
term, and so we don't distribute the 4 past the parentheses. Now I'm going to simplify anything that I can. I have a 12 minus 12. Well, 12 minus 12 is 0. There's no need to write that. It just kind of cancels itself out. So I'm left with 4x equals, and there's nothing on the other side to simplify, so it just becomes that. All right, I distributed. Then I simplified. Now I'm going to move my x's all to the same side. So I'm going to move that from here to here. Remember, it's understood plus if there's no sign, so it becomes a minus when I move it. Listen, don't lose this negative. It's minus 12, and a minus and a negative are the same thing. So don't lose that minus. 4x minus 2x. I have 4x's. I take 2x's away. I have 2x left. Move this from here to here. The operation changes. The sign does not. And negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. This one's a longer. Now, remember me saying you're going to have to learn to start writing things down because some of these are going to get long? Well, we're there. All right, so here's the thing. I have to look inside my parentheses. If I can't do anything, I have to look outside. And I have to distribute this 9 to everything inside of those parentheses. 9 times 7 is 63. 9 times negative 2x is negative 18x. Minus 7, I'm not touching, equals 5 times negative 2 is negative 10x. Multiply your numbers. 5 times positive 3 is positive 15. Minus 15. All right. At this point, I'm going to simplify what I can. 63 minus 7 is 56. Now listen, this negative stays with the 18. Whatever is in front of, whatever sign is in front of that term is its, is its sign. 63 minus 7 is positive 56. Now 15 minus 15 is going to become 0. So I'm going to just drop that because 0 is nothing. Now I need to start moving things around. So I'm going to kind of work this backwards again. I'm going to move this negative 18 over here. Negative 18x, I'm sorry. This 56 is going to stay put. My negative 10x is going to stay put. Instead of a negative 18x, though, it becomes a plus 18x. Negative 10x plus 18. Oh, goodness, that's a terrible 5. Negative 10x plus 18 is 8x, and then I have to move this 8 from here to here. And it becomes 56 divided by 8 equals x, which is 7. So it's easy to get bogged down and, and lost in these. Take it one step at a time, okay? Let me show you those steps. So steps... Uh, three, four, five, and six. We may have talked about step two before. The new one is distributing. Step one, always distribute. Just like order of operations, we do parentheses first. Distribute, then add any like terms. Move all variable terms to one side, so anything with an X or any letter that's given, move to one side. Then move all non-variable terms to the opposite side. Then add any like terms, and then multiply and divide as needed. So if you're a note taker, I would write those down somewhere so you can reference back to those um, because this is going to be huge in um, math from here on out. Now, for